In this session, we will show you how to use the mobile WMS solution for Dynamics AX to receive items posted in an arrival journal. The case in this session deals with a relatively simple process that can be used by many companies with uncomplicated product flow and specifications. First, I will show you some parameters that need to be set up. The system has some general parameters and setups per warehouse. In this case, concerning the purchase and arrival, we cannot have both activated at the same time. And if there's differences between warehouses, we have to go to the warehouse setup and for example select warehouse 22 and make an override of the setup. In this case, in warehouse 22, I only want arrival orders to be shown. You can see, if I choose purchase orders, I will not be able to see arrival orders. But in this case, we need to see the arrival order. In general, we use purchase orders to receive items. This is set up in the general tab. Then I'll click close and return. I've created a purchase order with number 000116 with three items on it. I have confirmed this to see it in the journal setup. So when I go to the inventory management and select the item arrival journal and create a new one and then go to default values, I have to enter my purchase order number 116, the site 2 and warehouse 22. I'll go to functions and say create lines. I'll have to make sure that initialize quantity is checked and then press OK. And now I have the three lines from the purchase order in my arrival journal ready to be received. I have to close these lines on the journal because if I don't, it will be occupied and I cannot see it on the mobile device. So now I'll go to the mobile device and press receive. And as you can see, I can get a list of all arrival journals available. And I can now scan the first item number in my journal and then it will find 116 automatically. It's number 65 and warehouse 22. When I select this journal, there's three lines in it, as in the journal. I can now select this one by scanning the item number or by pressing the line. So now I must scan the location I want to put this item in. Then scan the serial number, because this item requires serial number tracking. And now I have received one out of two. I could now select to go further and receive the rest, but I want to show you what happens if I just receive this one. So I'll go to the sub menu by pressing the burger button and select post because one line is finished. And when I post it, I can scan the packing slip value or enter it manually. Then I click dismiss because it posted successfully. When I go back to my journal overview here in the AX client, I see the lines and only one is left. The other one has been posted as registered. So I have 1, 5 and 10 items left to be received. I'll close and go back to my overview. And then I'll scan the item number in order to find the journal number. And this is the one. So now I have one left. I'll scan the item number once more, scan the location, and scan the serial number. And now I have received the last one. Then I'll scan the next item number, scan the same location, and since there's no tracking dimensions on it, I'll just have to enter the quantity. So now this has been received. The last one requires batch tracking. I'll select the item by scanning, put it in this location, and scan the batch number, and enter the quantity. 
So now the system recognizes that I have received all the items in this journal. So I can say no if I want to go back, or for example if I'm offline and return at a later point. But now I'm ready to post it and press yes. And enter the packing slip. And it posted successfully. If I try to scan the item from before, you can see that I have no orders that match the filter. I'll then go back to the AS client and have a look. I can see that the journal name has disappeared, but you can see it here with the posted journals. And there it is number 65 and 66. Number 65 was the single line I received at first. And number 66 was the one with 1, 5 and 10 items, the last receive I made. If I go back to my purchase order number, One one six and the lines and select general and line quantity. You can see that I have now registered all the items. And to complete the delivery, I must make a manual posting of the product receipt. So I'll go to receive and product receipt and enter a product receipt number. It could be this one. And the posting is enabled. So once again, I'll go back to general, line quantity, and you can now see that all has been received. So this is the procedure for using the mobile WMS solution for Dynamics AX to receive items posted in an arrival journal.